Welcome to the Christmas beer review. Um, our excited. Pump, yeah, our pumpkin beer review video got at least six or seven views, so backed by popular demand. <laughs> I'm gonna try, try to break that one. A six pack of various Christmas style beers. Would you like to pick the first one? Da -da what we got? Mm. Ooh. Anchor Brewing. I don't think Anchor makes a bad beer. Oh, oh, the shape of the bottles. Alright, so this is a... Just called Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Um, what's the description? Special Ale. Yeah, we'll try it out. Ooh. A little darker than I expected coming out of the bottle. Why, but for some reason I was not expecting that. Oh. It smells like banana. Uh, it's what I would expect from a Christmas ale. Really? If you, yeah, blindfolded, say that's a banana bread beer. Hmm, close. Yeah. Alright, All right. cheers. Cheers. Good. Doesn't taste like banana. No. I like that one. That's what I would expect from a Christmas beer. That tastes like a mm, aftertaste, I'm getting it. Sweet. That tastes like a hoppy brown to me. And then that aftertaste I'm getting maybe from the yeast or whatever I they get the alcohol from. right up front. Mm hmm Definitely tell it's a stronger ale. It is 6.9% ABV. Less than I thought it was, but those of you that like um, that alcohol taste, um, it's right up your alley. Is it sad that we think 6.9% is low? <laughs> We're like, oh, it's just 6.9. <laughs> it doesn't taste like it's 6. It tastes more like a, an 8, but... Um, tastes like a brown ale with... A sweet, nutty, fruity aftertaste. That's Christmassy, I'd say. What would you rank this? Out of five? Out of ten. Oh, out of ten? Out of ten, um, I'd give this one a seven. I'm saying ten. Of course. All right, onward. All right, on to beer number two. That wasn't bad, that was drinkable. Yeah. I mean, it's not light by any means, but... At least uh, I didn't pregame today, so <laughs> we're good. All right, bottle or can? Um, let's do can this time. Ooh, that's a pretty Ooh. one. It's very festive. Two Roads, Beer de Noel, Holiday Ooh. Ale. Two Roads. I, I do like Two Roads beers. I think that's from, like, New England area, right? Yes. I feel like that's one of the ones I drove past but didn't get to visit when I was up there. Alright, uh, dark or light? What are we thinking? Uh, amber. It just says... Uh, it's caramel. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, I was going to say it's more of a copper. Or, no, nah, it's more caramel. Copper's more red, right? Ooh. Nice little foamy head on there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Alright. Mmm, smell. I didn't get anything. Wow. Let's try that again. It's not a whole lot of nothing. Smell going <laughs> on. Do you smell anything? No. It's um <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I was gonna get some foam up there or something. <laughs> now, this does not really smell like anything for a holiday no. ale. I suspect it's some cinnamon, nutmeg, or something yeah, clove. I'm, I'm getting banana. nothing. So it doesn't smell like anything. Getting it's a nice anything. caramel. Nice carbonation. It looks very light, like it's not sticking to the glass or anything, so... Let's just give it a whirl. Try it out. Ooh, that's nutty. Nutty and brown. Oh, I like that. That's, yeah. That's right up your alley. Um, yeah, at first I thought it was going to be more on the Christmas spice side, but... Mm -hmm. It's malty, caramely, nutty... It tastes like if brown had a flavor. Well, <laughs> good brown. Let's specify there. 
Um, <laughs> I would classify it as a sweeter brown. Yeah. Um, I got to be in the mood to drink them, but uh, do appreciate them every once in a while. And uh, definitely get that malt. Like a like a like a craftier version of a Newcastle, you know. Yes. Newcastle is the well-known brown. This is you know a little more nuanced, maybe. A little bit more malty. Finishes light, but in a little sweet. But yeah, I could definitely drink. Yep. English nutty brown ale. Oh, this one's seven point three percent. Oh, really? Wow. Does not taste like seven point three percent. That drinks a lot lighter. That's good. I yeah. like that one. So, I finish this one off, and are you gonna move rate it? On. Oh, you first. Um, I'll give this one ten. an eight out of ten. Eight. That eight. is got to leave. Got to leave some room for improvement. This guy but, is um, a craft beer snob, so eight is take it and run. We have two cans and two bottles left. Oh, that's right. It was a holiday five pack. No. I got three cans. Can. Can it is. I thought for sure I would say something that wasn't stupid. Oh, Rheingeist. Rheingeist. It's called Dad. Dad How and fitting. Dad and plaid. Dad holiday. Wait, dot. Dad. The Dad Hoppy Holiday Ale. And I'm drinking it with my dad. And it's plaid. Yeah, it's plaid. Get so, it. So, Ryan Geist, uh, I like the back. Hi, Thirsty, I'm Dad. This hoppy red ale, so it should be red ale, 6%. Should be a holiday red ale. Let's Ooh. see. Holiday red. Alrighty. What did you. Okay. Tilt, there we go. That's, that's pretty red. It's about as red as you can get a beer, I think. Mm. About the same set. Well, about being red, it's well, caramel. When you're looking down, hold it, hold it up to the light. Like when you just lifted it up and I looked at it. Yeah. That's, that's right. Yeah, that's red. Hmm. Smells like a lager. Red. I mean, it is an ale, but I mean, it does smell lagery, as in like. Uh, Crisp and clean, probably, mm -hmm. you know, low hop profile, just <clears throat> complimenting hops, nothing crazy, and you're just supposed to taste the the malt. <clears throat> but it won't be like a nutty, caramely malt. This will be more like a... Remember, guys, if you like this video, hit the like button. <laughs> All three of you. All three of you. <laughs> so we'll, we'll do more in the future. All right. I can't wait to do Easter beers. Oh man! Wow, that's got a, that is that's a hundred and eighty degrees from what we were drinking. Um, the flavor of that—it's just a strong lager. It's not. It's not. It's an ale. I mean, it's I, a red ale. I, I know it's a red ale, but it that um for being a six percent red ale straight down the middle, that flavor is <clears throat> up here where. We're, we're expecting here that is but there's not too much of an aftertaste it's a very clean crisp it goes away yep goes away i have an irish red ale my first one i ever brewed fermenting upstairs i was just showing him and i hope it tastes something like this because that's good uh dad mows it anchors of acres of dank piney hops uphill both ways i don't really get hoppiness from this stuff. i mean no. this is a little bitter but I don't get dank, piney like they're yeah. insinuating. It has like Comet or Simcoe or something hops. I don't. Definitely not dank. I don't think so. But uh, Ryan Geist, I mean, that's a top tier brewery. I mean, yes. When we go to Beer Fest, that gym always oh, beelines it. Be Ryan Geist. Ryan so. Geist. I think they're in Ohio. Cincinnati. <clears throat> yep. So. They got a good reputation. Um, if you're ever in Cincinnati, beer. definitely check them out. Here's to you, Dad. Oh, man. That's mm. just... Yummy. So, so let's rate this one. Ten. I, I give this one an eight also. Wow. I'll edit it out. Welcome back. All right. Four down. 
Three down. <laughs> three down, Ruby three to go. something stupid now. <laughs> three down, three to go. We got two bottles in a can. What are you thinking? Bottle, I guess. Ooh, yeah, it's got to be a bottle. Me, 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 me. Mm, black, red, black, red, Sorry. black, red. Red. Deschutes. Deschutes. Brewery. Jubilee, a festive winter ale. Hmm. Probably not up my alley, but we'll rate it anyhow. I mean, it's going to be hard to uh, follow la 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 that last one up. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that you actually can't make dad jokes if you're not an actual father? I did not know that. Yeah, it's a serious faux pas. <laughs> 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 All right. This is so it's another dark beer. I, definitely I not a red. I have not even smelled it yet, but just by looking at the label, I'm judging this beer, and I'm thinking it's going to smell more cinnamony and. I have a feeling and, it's going to be more like a Mad Elf. Alcohol six point seven percent. Right up there. IBU sixty five. Ooh. For uh, Christmas, I mean, for an IPA, that's nothing to blink an eye at. No, for a Christmas, for a beer, Christmas beer, that's 60, something that's like a Sierra Nevada celebration 30. style. So, what do you smell oh. first? Yep. Oh, yeah, I banana. Can, yep, banana, banana clove. It's like a hefe. Yep. That well, I mean, not in appearance, but the yeast they probably used, you know. So excuse me if I make a, b- <laughs> a bad face. Which means it's probably has wheat in it, and it probably is using a wheat beer, wheat beer yeast. Where when they ferment out, <clears throat> I forget the two scientific terms, but one starts with a P, means you get a clove flavor, and then one starts with a whatever, and it means you get a banana flavor. So you see that in your Hefeweizens, some other wheat beers. This is obviously not a Hefe, but it's got that wheaty yeast, banana holiday clove. Cheers. Holiday cheers taste. 65 IBUs. Let's see. Oh. Ooh. Wheat. Sweet. It's gotta be weak. Mm. Oh, definitely get the alcohol in the back end. But for somebody that really doesn't like cafes, um, this isn't actually that bad. It's not the, the fake banana and clove up front. Um, you get a little bit of it, but wow, you definitely get a lot of yes. alcohol in the back yeah. end. Yeah, six seven. Now it says, cozy up to the fireside with this festive winter ale full of spice notes and robust malt character of toffee. I get toffee. And it says, and dusted cocoa. I don't get that. Oh, I do not get any chocolate. Sorry. Apparently they've been making this since 1988. But it does mention, it says, bottle conditioned for quality. Live yeast added to the bottle. So generally, the yeast has already done its job and dropped out. Dead. So when you bottle, you add some more sugar to it just so that the remaining yeast that's there can eat that sugar and make carbon dioxide carbonate your beer if you're bottle conditioning. It looks like they add live yeast at that point, which is why this tastes extra yeasty, a.k.a. banana and clovey. There's extra yeast in here, which also means you probably can't see through it. Yeah, you can't see hazy. through it. It's hazy. There's yeast um, suspended in this beer. So that is interesting. I don't know if I've ever heard of adding more yeast at bottling. Apparently that's where that banana clove is coming through. But um, yeah, definitely malty. Toffee, I see. Cocoa, I don't really taste. I smell. It smells like banana bread. Definitely a festive beer. I would definitely, yeah, call this a Christmas beer. Rate it. Out of ten. Ten. This would be a good one to have around a fire. <laughs> Just because I'm not into the the whole clovey banana hefe. It's got a weird aftertaste. I will to me. I will get this one a seven. It's still pretty high for you so far today. Definitely tastes strong. This is not a a chugging beer, this is definitely a sipping beer. As we chug it. <laughs> I kept making fun of that 65 IBU. I keep noticing a bittering aftertaste. That's where that that's where the yeah. hops are coming in. Alright, so we're almost four down. Two to go. What'll be the best Christmas beer? What'll be mm. the worst? 
We don't know. Stay tuned. We've got to make a correction now. I said mm. Jubilee. It's Jubilee, which must be a play on Jubilee. So far, my least favorite we were just discussing, but we do have two more, so. All right. Well, let's, let's finish, finish this one up and, and uh, cheers. Cheers. We'll pull another. One can, one bottle. Let's go with the can. Can. I think we'll like this one. If I can get it out. Oh, it's red. Goose oh, Island. Goose Island. Christmas IPA. Ooh, I do like Goose Island IPA. So this should, you know, get rid of the whole stuff you don't like about Christmas ales. Hopefully. Because it's an IPA. Like how, how cool but how, how can you make a, an IPA Christmas beer, though? Uh, Sierra Nevada Celebration. It's a Christmas IPA. True. I know you can't tell by looking at a can. That looks really dark. For an IPA? Yeah, it's pretty dark. I mean, on par with Celebration, maybe. I don't have any left to compare, but I did have a case. I haven't had any light bears today. Not really. All right, so this is um, it's not amber, it's not copper. This is a this is a, a brown. I mean, this camera is a little biased. If you hold up to the light, it's a toffee-ish color. Oh boy. Don't cut me out. <laughs> um, nope. Yep, yeah, as expected, that smells hoppy. Mmm. God, that smells good. It smells, yeah. Color doesn't seem to match the smell in my mind, but, uh... So let's see if Goose Island can make an IPA taste Christmassy. 38 IBU. Seems low for an IPA. I mean, call this a pale 38, uh, is that an IPA? I don't know. 38 IBU, which is, you know, about half of what we just had in Jubileo. 7.5% alcohol. Oh, another good one. Yay. Yeah. Merry Christmas. That tastes good. That's interesting. Oh my gosh. It's not your... I don't know where to start with that it's one. It's not your citrusy IPA. It's not your piney IPA. It's like a floral IPA. Like, um... I like that description. Yeah, it's, it's, it's floral, herbaceous, hop presence. Um, I get a little bit of the malt, like the toffee maltiness. Maybe because I know what color it is. If I was blind taste testing, maybe mm, I wouldn't know. Floral, like poinsettia? Floral? It just, it's, when you divide hops, there's floral, spicy, citrus, piney. I don't get citrus, piney. I get floral here, but it is huge hop flavor forward. Hmm. But it, it goes quick. I mean, it doesn't linger. It doesn't leave that, like, bile aftertaste that some people don't like IPAs wow, for. That is that is very Smooth. unique. Very unique. Is it Christmas, though? I mean, I sort of get the Christmas... I mean, define Christmas. I mean, do you need Christmas to be cinnamony? No, I don't. Um, but piney, little piney, piney would be piney good. Piney will do it for me. And this, well, this is not a piney. The hops aren't piney, but the floralness with the maltiness. Hmm. I think I get Christmas in this. It's more of a like a Christmas wreath and not a Christmas tree. Wow. Okay. There's a little Christmas inside all of us. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Uh, we'll go with that because I'm just... I, this tastes good is what I we're just, saying. I don't know how to really describe this other than the hops being floral, which don't really get a whole lot of any other time of the year. I say 10 out of 10. I'll give it an 8 just because it's, it's very unique. That's your um, third or fourth 8 of the day. It's not worthy of a 10, but it's... 
Will you ever give a beer a 10? Mm. What beer do I have to bring on this show, this YouTube <laughs> show, to get you to say 10? Um, we'll keep that a secret, but um, we'll, we'll keep... No beers. No beers are good. Enough. We'll keep uh, gnawing away at it. What's the next holiday coming up that we can theme around beer? It's St. Patrick's Day. That Irish is beers. That is true. We should do the light ones, like Keystone, Bush, Miller, Bud Light, Bud Light Platinum. <laughs> Four and a half down, working on five. We'll be back for the last beer of our Christmas tasting. After, I already said after these messages. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be right back. We'll be back. Hey. hey. Okay, last one. Oh, Southern Tier. Old Man Winter. Old Man Winter. <clears throat> winter Ale. Seasonal. 7.5. That's the only description they really have about it. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> that might be the lightest one of the day. That is pretty light. Yeah, for... It's not bad. Not very dark. I mean, it is an ale. It's not easy. Seven, seven five. It's uh. Oh. I mean, I would say it is a little hazy. You Sm can't see through it. Smells like a pilsner. I got nothing. I mean, it smells light, crisp. Smells, yeah. Smells very light and crisp. Do they offer any description? They do not. So. Southern Tier usually pumps out decent beers. Yeah. I so, mean, except for their um, cold pressed pumpkin, whatever. Ugh. Some people like it. Cheers. Me, not so much. Beer number six or Christmas special. Pretty much tastes like it smells. Nothing. Ugh. Um. No. There's. I don't like it. Mm. So when it smells like a Pilsner, could be like a Miller's. Um, I would say mix a Miller's with a Newcastle Brown Ale. I, <laughs> I had trouble talking. I taste wheat. I taste wheat, and it's not complimented the way that my palate likes it. I don't like that taste it leaves in your mouth. Uh, I'm going to try it again. And of course it was the last beer. I did not generally enjoy that first swig. I could, I could drink this beer. I like it. Old Man Winter. Mm. I wonder what they were targeting. Um, it smell, it tastes like Old Man Wiener. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Jeez. I don't think I've ever disliked the beer on these videos as much as I dislike this one. It's not that bad. I mean, the name of the game is to drink the beer, so I will finish this, but God. Oh, this isn't a dumpable beer. Um, but no, 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 no. I've only, how many beers in your lifetime? One. Just one that you've ever dumped out. Well, that Pacifico. Yeah, Cerveza de los Pacifico. Um, <laughs> that was a Mexican. It was a Mexican, uh, like Corona-ish, but it was it was terrible. It was you know it translated beer of the Pacific, and it tasted like it was made from the Pacific. <laughs> but I mean, going back, um, I mean, we've dumped some other beers um, at Beer Fest. Well, that. That's that doesn't you're, really count. Yeah, you're pressed just because, for time. Yeah, you're, you're pressed for time. Um, you don't want to waste drinking on uh, drinking a beer that you really don't enjoy all that much. Yeah, but like in real life, you've dumped. I think I've dumped one or two, but they were both like hot pepper beers. It's like I'll try them. It's like I love habaneros. I love beer. But I don't not together. necessarily like them together. So, if you drink this beer... Yeah, I wouldn't dump this. Um, you know, I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm going to rate this 
five out of ten. Seriously. Dun, dun, dun. Um, this is the first time I've ever rated a beer other than ten. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't like it. I would give this six, six out of ten. I I could drink this beer, um, but it's not very crafty. I guess so. Um, well, we've been through all six. What is your favorite? And what Ooh. was your least favorite? Oh. Hmm. I did like Anchor. And I did like Dad. Um, hmm. I even enjoyed the Goose Island. But you know, for the last pull of the of the day, that was a bad pull. <laughs> that shouldn't have been last. You you picked <laughs> half of those at least. Alrighty, so um, until next time. But you didn't pick your favorite and least favorite yet. I did. Oh. What's yours? You you weren't concise. What was your favorite? I missed. You picked like three. Yeah, I mean, there was three that I rated like 8 out of 10. Well, you got to pick your one favorite and your one less, least favorite. I'm, I'm going to say Anchor was Anchor one of my was favorites. Anchor your favorite, and your least favorite was... Oh, definitely Southern Tier. Out of these six, it would have had to been, yeah, the number six. I'm going to say, I like that Anchor too. I'm going to say my favorite of the day was this Goose Island Christmas IPA. And my least favorite... Surprisingly, is going to be this <laughs> old man winter that we still have to finish the bottom third of. Sorry, Southern Tier. You make a lot of amazing beers, yes. but personally, I do not believe that this is one of them. At least this batch. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll, we're still willing to try any other beers you make. So, Ugh, excuse me. So, stay tuned. Um, we might have a President's Day beer video coming. We might have. Martin Luther King Jr. Day beer coming uh, most likely will be St. Patrick's Day or something like that. But uh, and we may have a special guest, Jimmy. Jim, Jimmy. I've been <laughs> trying to get him on the show for ages. His agent is just running me through the hoops. <laughs> but Jimmy, we're gonna need you on the show. So, Merry Christmas, yeah, you filthy animals. Happy holiday, two thousand nineteen. Cheers. Ugh.